welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video I will go as a solo on an air survival server and I'm going to build a base in a pretty different location. With this new location I will do a ton of PvP, base raiding and getting a ton of loot in the process. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more aired videos make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Also make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to another one which is an electric overload Zubeknikov. If you wanna win this make sure that you have like, subscribe and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by One State. One State is a free Android and iOS game with a roleplay mode. The game takes place in Los Angeles on a large open map. Here you can become a police officer, gangster, businessman or an ordinary worker. The game offers endless opportunities for character development, including playing with your friends, making new friends and enjoying various entertainment options. I have played the game myself and honestly I am quite impressed. You can take up different jobs, start your own business and much more. Recently they also added a feature where you can create your own gang and I'm actually starting my own. Come join me in One State and we can do a ton of missions together. You can earn rewards not just for completing gang missions but also taking part in big scale events. This game has incredible optimized graphics too. I will be waiting for you guys in one state, the link will be in the description below and make sure to use my promo code and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we're logging back on now. I did play here a few days ago, but I'm 100% sure that uh, I got offline raided. But I think I logged off with some, some loot actually. In my vault at least, yeah, we're on. I am a naked. And in my vault, okay, I have a charge, that's all. all right, yeah, I mean, you know what, that's better than nothing. It's actually end game loot, but I don't have anything else. These guys are in a heli. Hello, let's just wave at him. What? His heli vanished, bro, what the? Yeah, so currently it is quite early in the morning. I'm gonna spend all day here. We're gonna try to survive for 24 hours without getting raided. That's kind of my goal. But I do have filters, explosive compounds, night vision. That's basically it. Also, I have all of the keys ready since I've done dead zone runs. Yeah, we got ourselves a kit starter. Nothing too crazy. All right, so first things first is we're going to go to Kahmaran Airfield. Loot ourselves over there. There's a tractor here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Easy tractor. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go to Kahmaran. Loot there. Now today I do have a base location which is kind of smart. I'm gonna build it in a location where not a lot of people go to. And I don't think me personally in my hours on air I have actually ever went there. Currently there are not a lot of people on but later on I'm 100% sure more will hop on. But in the meantime that gives me some chance to loot around, start building and get ready for when more people start to hop on. But yeah the people are on our villains so maybe if we get to kill them we get ourselves some good loot. I kind of forgot to get all of the tools man I'm dumb. All right, so looted the airfield. In terms of loot, got some stuff, but nothing that insane. I'm gonna take my beautiful tractor, and I'm going to go to the base location that I want to build. Hopefully nobody has built there yet. But if it's actually unclaimed, I can guarantee that my base won't get traded at least for a full day. And then unturned, that's honestly a miracle. Now the area is a bit out of nowhere for everywhere. There's no marked locations around. But there is an unmarked monument, which you can actually get some high tier military loot, which we'll be farming for a lot, and it can actually be hidden quite well. Alright, since I forgot all of the tools, I'm gonna go back to the safe zone and I'm gonna get every single one of them. And then we're gonna go to the location and start building. After we start building, we can actually already do a small base raid, but we're still gonna do the full progression. We're still going to do Fort Canal, AG-19 and so on. I gave those guys a mag to show that I'm peaceful. Obviously, if I see them anywhere, I'll, I'll kill them. But just for now, hopefully they won't follow me. Alright, let's go back to our tractor. I think they're coming here actually. I don't want them to follow me, man. They could easily kill me. Especially, I think, if they're a duo. Yeah, I don't think they're coming here. Oh, he's right here. Never mind. My guy just went in a car. Yeah, I think he's he's gonna try to follow me, perhaps. Or is he gonna drive away, bro? Go away. I could take the car. There we go. I locked the car. This is my car now. Oh, well, let's just get out. Yeah, he TP'd away. All right. Well, I'm going back to my tractor, obviously. I have loot in the trunk, man. All right, so this is the location that I want to build in. It's next to the canyon. Got a lot of logs on the floor, we'll keep them there for now. And we'll put it, like, right over here. Over there is a crashed heli, which I will show you guys soon. We'll put it there. Alright, so the base is basically done. Now I'm taking all of the load that I have from the tractor's trunk. 
and I'm gonna put him in base. I have a full inventory, but this is the base location. It's kind of hidden, kind of camouflaged. I think if we put it brick, it'll be even more camouflaged. It looks kind kind of cooler. Yeah, this location, I don't think a lot of people do come here. They will test it. We'll see if people do actually show up. If we get raided, then obviously, yeah, but the base stands for more than 24 hours. I think that it is a successful base location. Let's put everything in here, and now we'll start farming. And we'll start to get ourselves some loot. Ourselves an artillery or shell. Let's put that there. Obviously, we'll put, gotta put all the tools in here. Alright, great. Let's go. Alright, so very close to our base is this location. So we got ourselves a low rocket launcher. Great. We can actually open the one in this place. You now, picking up dog tags, obviously. We're salvaging everything we find. Uh, but we don't need to farm anything for keys of everything already. Let's med up because we're almost actually dead. I'm pretty sure over here, Helis do spawn. So, yeah, let's break. Let's kill the zombie first. And let's see what kind of loot we can get from inside. Picking up everything, man. Everything is important in this map. That's how you get loot quickly. Even smokes, they can be salvaged into metal, man. Get ourselves another bandage. Let's med up. Alright, let's get this law. Let's see if we get anything good from there, man. Uh, we're through and uh, I mean okay thermal grenade a bunch of dressings. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah, not too bad I don't think there's any hidden keys in here. Honestly. I'd never really come here, man There's some metal sheet. All right, so I'm in the safe zone got myself enough dog tags for a toolbox Which is the next item that we need came in here naked so I could suicide Let's just put that in vault because we have no space All right, so a reason why I also pick this location is first of all it's a military area so you can get guns you can get a bunch of actually decent items, dog tags, and there's a bunch of these military crates here, which will drop actually decent items. Here we go, we got ourselves a backpack. I think they also drop rocket launcher parts too. Yeah, attachments. And there's quite a few of them. Gunpowder, another helmet. But yeah, these helmets obviously can be salvaged for armor plating, which is important to making armored doors and so on. Armored lockers, I'm pretty sure we got ourselves another two more guns. And they do respawn quite quickly though. Basically, it's the ones similar in Point Lima when it's a full moon. Copper wire, and there's another one back here. We got ourselves another radio, another helmet. We just got ourselves like five armor plates from just this one, one, one run. A bunch of cloth and three more guns. Salvage all of these items, we don't need them. Alright, so it's an airdrop, so I don't know if I should go for it, actually. Can get ourselves some good loot from it. It seems quite, quite far. Alright, so I just found this base. And I think it's fake raided. Now keep in mind, I still have that one C4 from the last time that I played here. Yeah, this the floor beneath this is completely unraided. It's fake raided, man. Yeah, all of this is metal as well. It's so obvious, bro. Well, I don't know if I should risk my only charge. And there may not be anything. But I really, really think it's fake raided. Because the one room that's open, it's completely sealed off anyway. It's basically a gamble. We can raid the roof from here because it's the part that's wooden. Yeah, we're gonna give it a try. I mean, why not, man? Let's just put that there. Let's back up. And... Oh, yeah, there is loot. Yeah, I knew it. Toolbox already. Yeah, there's some loot. Okay, yeah, there's actually quite a ton of loot. High tier loot. Yeah, we're gonna take everything. We're probably gonna have to do multiple runs. Right, let's put this in there. I also did manage to craft myself a gauze mask already. we go. We got ourselves a few more guns. Let's wear this backpack. It's much bigger. Carg. Yeah, we're gonna take everything. But yeah, I mean, it's nothing that crazy. But it'll give us definitely a, a boost for our progression. Yeah, it's really good loot for a server that only has two times loot, actually. Oh, there's a crate up there, too. I'm gonna mark it on the map. I'm gonna home, and I'm gonna come back. Because I already have an inventory full of loot. And there's still quite a lot of components here, which definitely will be useful. Alright, so we're back for round two. Yeah, all of the loot is still here. Thank God. I can make stairs to go up there. Yeah, let's take the actually important slot. Let's make ourselves stairs to go up. There's a lot of ammo crates, man. Now yeah, we'll put that there. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything important. Taking this ammo box. Let's take all of these. Bro, I hear a car passing by. Yeah, there's... I think there's two guys inside. Oh, is this their base? Wait, I don't know. There's literally no door. Yeah, they went inside. Bro, let's just take the loot from this one. There's that crate over there that I even check yet. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna try to get here. Probably heard me raid. Oh, there's nothing in this. Just another, just another gun in there. Let's take all of this water. Yeah, I have a full inventory once again. So I'll probably home, then I'll come back. I don't want to lose this loot, man. Let's take this crate. Oh, they're inside the car. I hear them. What are they doing? Yeah, I don't know if this is their base, actually. I'm very, very confused. He's right there. I could try to kill one. Because they do... Oh, I hear steps. He's very close. 
He's right down there. When he's dead. Oh, he's geared. Yo, he has Nemesis. Wait, let's dump this stuff. We don't need them. This is much better loot. Bro, Nemesis, Rosved. They have a Gauss Mask, Night Vision. Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. Rucksack. Alright, so I came back naked just with a Zolash. Oh, he, I hear him. He's right. There we go, he's dead. Oh, he's stacked as well, man. He did hit me, by the way. Right, let's just go in here. I gotta stop the bleeding, bro. My guy had an anvil on him. Let's open vault. Um, I don't really have space. I wanna keep that nemesis, bro. Alright, let's see if there's any other good loot. I mean, there's motor oil. Good. Ourselves more night vision. I right, hear a car. Bro, I'm gonna do the same thing I just did. I'm just gonna home. Yeah, they're driving by. Oh, I hear steps, bro. They're literally right out here somewhere. I don't know where he is, bro. Just keep hiding and let's get out of here. Let's slash home. <laughs> and we're gonna get ourselves our second loot pile. Our second nemesis, bro. They're stacked. Yeah, they're literally right around. I hear them. And we are back with the second loot pile. Let's go. Bro, I'm dead. My guy's using explosive ammo, man. That's fine. I didn't lose much. Just a Zolash. But we'll go back. We'll try to kill him again, obviously. Hit him. Hit him again. Oh, he's dead. Oh, his buddy's right over there. Hit him again. Yeah, I'm gonna run for that guy's loot. I'm just a naked with a Karg. Yeah, the other guy's probably healing up. I don't think they actually have anything now. I looted both of them. I thought had insane loot. Yeah, just keep going. Kind of forgot where I killed him. Oh, he's trying to hit me, man. He can't hit me, though. I'm gonna dodge the bullets. Oh, I forgot where I killed him. Oh, he's right there. All right, loot pile is right over here. Yeah, they're broke. They don't have anything. Oh, my guy had a Zolash. That's it. All right, smed up. Let's get to full HP. All right, boys, we're back. Another W run. Got ourselves another Karg. Just crazy, man. In an hour, we've got all of this loot already. A bunch of guns. I did pick up a bunch of their random junk, which I'm gonna start salvaging them into actually components. Even guns and all of those. We don't need those. Like, pistols. I'm just putting everything in my crates as quickly as possible to go back. Especially when I got the first few kills. We got ourselves that kind of bullet. I don't even know what it is. Got ourselves a puzzle trophy. Put that there. Gotta make our base a bit cozy, you know. Put this armor here. Armor upgrade thing. Got ourselves another box. We could place that somewhere. On top of the other one. There we go. So for the second toolbox, we could put that on top of the other one. Sells a stack of HQ fabric too. Our second stack. Over here, we still have a bunch of more junk. Blue floppy disk. Another toolbox. We got three toolboxes, dude. But yeah, that raid and that duo, we got so much loot from them, man. Really, really good start. The perfect start, kind of. Even though we started off with loot with the charge and so on. Let's put all of this metal and the gun parts in here. Later on, I'll try to upgrade the base to full metal, obviously. Make myself some metal lockers and crates. For that, we're gonna need a lot of armor plates, which we are farming them as well. Let's fix our inventory a bit. Ourselves another pistol here still. Ourselves the Second pair of night vision. But yeah, not too bad. Let's go for another run. That duo that I was killing, they rage quit. I mean, honestly, I don't blame them. I was just a naked with a Zolash. Myself, two nemesis. Not another stack of night vision. Oh, bro, you can get a roll of lead? Oh, that's insane. Even ammo belts. Bro, you just live here and get everything. You don't even know, need to go to AG19 for roll of lead. You can get them from here, man. It's crazy. Pretty sure that's the only spawn apart AG19 where you can get them. Honestly, insane. But yeah, I think that's my next step anyway. I think we're gonna go to AG19 to get a roll of lead. Alright, boys. So, I'm over here. <laughs> um, believe it or not, I am farming for rugs. I'm gonna fill my full base of rugs. But at the same time, we're getting all of these random items. From there, you can get a lot of plastic, electronics, metal. RC controller gave us electronics. And oh, there we go. We got ourselves a puzzle trophy too. We're gonna salvage it where they have one. But yeah, I want rugs, man. I want rugs for my base. I want to make it cozy. You can place a lot of stuff in Erd, man. Especially for base decorations. And I love that. Especially when you're a solo and just building a base. We got ourselves a fridge. Trumpet, so. Somebody's raiding, bro. Somebody's raiding very close, actually. I hope that's not my base, man. It's terrifying to listen. So it shouldn't be my base. It should tell me if my bed get destroyed or something like that. So it should be okay. Alright, boys. It is AG19 time. Trying to get ourselves, hopefully, all of the good loot. Really need roll of red rewire kit. Reloading tools, obviously, as much Zolashes as possible. 
Perhaps MK pay parts. That would be epic. Got ourselves two more Zolashes. And there's another roll of lead there. Perfect. I don't know if I should pick up video receivers and so on. I know that they're good for hordes. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be doing hordes. We got ourselves a heavy military helmet. So let's go. It's definitely an upgrade. Seems like there's nobody in here anyway, too, so I can loot it in peace. Even though I only have, uh, I think, just this one filter. Let's take this dressing. Another Zolash, let's go. Another roll of lead, lovely. You know, these CDs, we don't need them. I don't have the key to enter inside that ammo belt room either yet. We should try to get that soon. Another roll of lead, great. Bunch of dressings. Zolash, mag. There's there's another dressing. Let's kill this dude. Another Zolash. I think I've picked up enough Zolashes for a solo for now. Just for this run. Another ammo belt. AP shell, take that. So my inventory is starting to get full. Let's check out down here. I think down here you get mainly ammo belts. So, picking up another ammo belt. Let's fix the water graphics since we're here. Oh, we got ourselves a, a... What? I don't even know that it. Some sort of missile or whatever. Grenade, we don't need that. Thermal grenade. Mo pouch. We don't need that. Oh, there's so much junk we don't need in this run, man. Alright, let's go back up. Let's continue the main area. What I went through. Oh, there's a rewire kit. Oh my god. Well, I'll definitely take that. Screw the Zolashes, bro. Yeah, let's take that. Let's take the important stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave a few of the guns here. But it's whatever. Bro, that's perfect. That's one of the most items that we need. But I can't hit the zombie, man. Oh, there we go. Can you give me something good, man? There's another gunpowder there. We'll take that. Just more guns. Zolash mag. Zolash drum, actually. HE ammo belt. We'll take these. They give us a lot of... Explosive compounds. Let's salvage all of these and stack the electronics where we can make a copper wire So let's salvage these since we have rewire kit already. Perfect. Salvage so Organize our inventory a bit. Let's just drop that ammo box for now. Fill up. Bro, having space is such pain. You're about to pop our other filter and now we have no more. We're almost done with this run anyway. We have full inventory, man. Alright boys, we're back from a very successful run. I did get myself enough roll of lead so. So very soon we're gonna go with our tractor. And we're hit Fort Knallop. We may have to ditch the tractor there though, sadly. We also got reloading tools, by the way. So we have literally every single important item that we need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop down a bunch of trees, make them charcoal, and make ourselves filters. We have everything else that we need. And we'll go do a Fort Knell run. Alright boys, we're over at Fort Knell with our tractor. This tractor has served me well, but now it's time to say goodbye. Because at the end I'm gonna home, I'm not gonna drive back. Because we just waste half a filter. Let's hope we get good loot, man. Really hoping for as much explosive ammo belts as possible. Let me get the AMR. Yeah, let's just start killing him. I think I'm at a bad spot. Oh, we got ourselves a tank shell. Great. Oh, yeah, they're all gonna come up here now. I think I screwed up. Yeah, let's kill him. Oh, there's a nemesis here. I'll take that gladly. Another one dead. Another one dead. Got ourselves a TX. Great. Let's pop our filter, so... Yeah, TX mags. We'll take those. Oh, I should have brought the rewire kit to be honest. I think we got more space. There's all the blasting cap. Honeybee. Perfect. Let's just jump down. First, we'll go on the outside and then we'll load the inside. There's a tank shot, bro. We're getting gonna get so much explosive compounds from this. We're gonna do so much raiding, bro. Let's see what this dude dropped. Cobalt. Okay. Crystal, dude. Alright, another one dead. Nothing good, though. Another ammo belt. White fuse, electric drill. There's so many drills here, what the hell? Another fuse, car battery. We don't need these though. AP shell, lovely. Let's see what this dude dropped. Encrypted transmitter. Nothing too good in here. Got a zombie inside. There's another entrance here. Let's see. There's any good loot. Oh, belts for days. Get ourselves another dressing. Is there anything good in here? Not really, no. I think we're gonna have a problem with the filters actually. <laughs> Another crystal, good. There's always like a garage where there's so much ammo belts in that area. I'm gonna go check that out very soon. Let's check out this warehouse here. Usually you do get good loot from there. Seems like there's, yeah, there's nothing that good though. There's an armored vest. Let's take that. Blasting caps. Nothing that good, man. Dude, honestly, we're not getting that much good loot. The best thing we got is the nemesis and the tank shell. Other than that, didn't really get anything that good. Ourselves one honeybee, two crystals. I'm kind of hoping for more. Yeah, and the problem is I need... I have no more filters after this, so... Check out this room and the home. Ammo belts for days, that's good. Another dressing. Yeah, I'm gonna home. 
I don't wanna risk it, because it takes 10 seconds to home anyway, and we may not even have enough in the filter already. Alright boys, we are back in base. I'm gonna start making all of the items that I've got to C4. We should have plenty, there we go. Well, C4 has been crafted. Absolutely beautiful. It makes us our second C4. I think that's enough to raid the wooden base. Like, a decently sized wooden base. But the problem is, after this, we will not have any more raiding gear yet, so we'll be able... So go to do more dead zone runs. Obviously, I have Fork now. Fork now, we get much better loot. But we lost our tractor. So we're gonna have to walk there next time, probably. Unless we get another car. Alright, I'll loot these crates and I'll start running around for a base raid. Our second base raid of the day. First one was mid. So for a second one, that's much better. Alright, so we found this base. It's mainly wood. Yeah, and, uh, okay, well, I don't think we're through, though. Let's put a second C4 there. Yeah, that part is mostly metal. Yep, we're through. Oh my god, there's so much loot! There's so much loot, bro! Oh yeah, this base is stacked! Law explosive! Alright, we're gonna have to do so many runs for this. Yeah, there's a bunch of loot in here. Let's take the laws, obviously. We can get ourselves some good loot from blowing a room up or something. Yeah, there's another Gauss Mask, Zolash, Night Vision, Plane Bomb... Alright, well, good raid. This is much better than the first one, for sure. I'm gonna start putting stuff in vault. I'm kinda scared people heard and we'll try to counter. Second Gosmos is also pretty huge. If we die with the first one, we'll always have a backup. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna build behind. I'm gonna take this base over. First, let's make stairs. So maybe some loot that actually go up. Yeah, I think the rest is just honeycomb. Yeah, it is just honeycomb. There's so much logs. Yeah, we could take this over, man. There's a military computer, artillery shell. There's a gun case, which I don't even know what that gun is, man, but it's mine. There's another toolbox, IR spotlight, another night vision on the floor, toolbox. Well, it's gonna take a while to move all of this loot to my main base. We're gonna salvage all of the components we don't need. There's two HMGs, ammo belts. There's another bullet of the RTP or whatever it's called. One full gunpowder. You know what? Not too bad, man. There's a broken saw. I think with that broken saw, we can actually craft a saw. I think that's the only thing I need. That's huge. There's Rosved parts too. There's a wall here. Let's put that there. Now we are safe. Stack of plastic, full gunpowder. Let's shoot out the beds. There we go. Let's home depot and return for the second run. Alright boys, and that is the end of day one. I did leave with all of the good loot, did a lot of progression for first day, and then I joined on the second day, but on this day, I was not going to be solo. I invited a friend of mine, and then we got another friend, so we were a trio, and this is what happened. Alright, start of day two, working on upgrading the base even more. Over here, we may actually need a wall, so we put a pillar in the rock. Yeah, it survived the day, bro. Didn't get raided. Honestly, incredible. I don't know a lot of people were on yesterday. I was still pretty sure my base will get raided during the night. It's been more than 12 hours since I was here. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves our third floor. Absolutely beautiful. So today, I think we're just going to do more dead zones. Try to find myself. Perhaps more raids. Uh, PvP, obviously. Alright, boys. I'm back for another AG19 run. Getting as much... Guns, components, explosives, and so on as possible. Let's pop this filter while we're at it. Maybe we'll get to do a hard beacon today, I, I don't really know. We could get roll of lead for my teammate, actually. So we can be able to do a duo dead zone run over at Fort Knell. I think that would be quite epic if we split up. Do it quicker and get more loot, guaranteed. Back from an amazing dead zone run. Got myself MKP parts, finally. Bunch of ammo belts. I can't complain, man. Pretty good run. Alright, duo Fort Knell run. We're gonna split up. We're gonna go one side, he's gonna go the other side. And this way we're gonna get so much more loot. Two inventories is better than one, bro. Alright, so apparently one of us found a base, which is... Not trade and it's completely oh my god yeah it is it is open bro i just went what bro there's a locker in there this one's empty this one's empty this one has loads bro we got a plane bomb he found a base that's basically open but it's not raided there was a missing wall or something and it could have just decayed yeah there's so much actually stuff i really want to see what the box has the one that he's looking in actually i could just shoot it down i'm gonna do that 
Oh, yeah, there is loot. Yeah, he took the good loot, obviously, but it's full of loot. Kind of want to know what was inside. Another plane bomb is, is actually insane. This was another ammo box. Fishing rods, insane, dude. So much loot. P90, a bunch of mags. There's another toolbox. Claims bed. I'm out of ammo. TX, I don't have any more. But plane bombs are actually quite good for raiding bases. Like, wooden bases. Two of them is enough to raid the wooden wall, for example. Check out to see if there there's a military computer here. I'll take that. There's also a dino statue, dude. Going straight in our base. Let's check if there's anything up here. It doesn't seem like there is. I don't think the owners, like, finished building their base here. I'm so confused. There's more crates. Oh my god! Found more crates, dude. Oh, these are empty. But there's a bunch of adamantium here. We could kick them, bro. Go for our base. We got ourselves another armor kit. Upgrade thing or whatever. You know, taking all of that. Bunch of metal so bunch of charcoal, sulfur. This is all just free loot, bro. Bro, there's someone in here with a rescue saw. I'm gonna push. Oh my god, my gun is on semi. Yeah, he's dead. Bro, my gun was on semi and I did not realize. Oh, it's actually geared. It's quite geared. But we got ourselves a rescue saw. Bunch of guns. Alright, not too bad. I'm running around with AMR, by the way. We're trying to find a base raid. Till now, no luck. There's a guy there. Oh, he killed one of us. I can't hit him, man. He's peeking. I'm gonna push him, obviously. He's right there. Hit him. I'm almost... I'm almost dead, actually. I'm gonna push up. My teammate. Oh, he killed them. Alright, I got him, I got him. He was low, thankfully. He had an AOR. Nothing that crazy, though. Alright boys, so after that, we did continue looking around the base, we actually crafted a ton of raiding gear, but we couldn't literally find anything. The only bases that we were finding were all raided, we literally searched around for an hour and could not find anything, so we decided to call it quits. But we did get ourselves a pretty good run, the base survived for more than 24 hours, and we did get ourselves a ton of good loot as well. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys do want to see more aired content in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!